Your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. This year alone, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs is facing fallouts for allegedly offering millions of dollars in medical care to illegals as our U.S. vets await hard-earned benefits. I came down to U.S. Vets, located on the outskirts of Las Vegas Boulevard and Bonanza Avenue, to see what our nation's heroes actually need from America. We need benefits for some of these guys that got psychoactive problems, medical problems. Some are physical, they got an arm missing, legs missing, where they went out and fought for the war for our country. You know, they're still not even getting help. They're still fighting for their, their benefits. They ain't got no 100%. Every one of these guys should be gotten 100%. And now they're waiting and waiting, and some are waiting up to 10, 15 years. As of January this year, more than 400,000 U.S. veteran claims still remain unprocessed. What do you need from America right now? What are you not getting right here on Bonanza Avenue and Las Vegas Boulevard? How can our country actually help you? I think it should be more detailed to the veterans' needs. We need our compensation for our PTSD or whatever it was. You know, we risked our life, our families, to serve this country, and it's like they're turning their backs on us, making us wait longer. Had to go through too much just to give what we're supposed to have. A variety of GOP leaders have voiced their outrage at the Biden administration as it continues to cater to illegal aliens over U.S. veterans. How do you feel that much of the money allotted to you that you deserve is going to illegal immigrants right now after you defended our nation and risked your life? Well, that's something that I appreciate you for because honestly, it bothers me that, you know, after serving our country and so many men and women that have served our country, they have to grovel and beg for something that should be a birthright. You know, my grandfather, he passed land on to my father. Other generations before us passed land on. You know, and I've been telling my kids different stories about how, you know, historically, Different people through history has helped veterans, but now it seems like the cash is just going to people that aren't from here, and that, that does hurt me directly. According to the Department of Homeland Security regarding fiscal year 2022, a total of $94.3 million in taxpayers' money was funneled to health care costs for non-citizens in detention. U.S. Vets, I guess, is a nice place to have, but it should be more regulated and more in tune with the vets, you know, getting us our needs, whatever we need, faster. It takes forever, you know. They only give you 90 days here, and you can't accomplish it 90 days. And then 90 days, then what are you supposed to do? I guess do it on my own. I'm not sure. I haven't been there 90 days yet. Reporting right here from U.S. Vets in Las Vegas, I'm Maria Centers with Southern Nevada News Network.